Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my other videos about my Samsung Vibrant with, rooted with various ROMs, such as Eugene 373's ROMs and some Bionics ROMs. Well, today, today I just installed Bionics 1.7 ROM. It's with the JI2 modem. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. Alright, I'm going to start off with the new boot sequence. Well, it's not really a new boot sequence, more like a new boot sound. Uh, yeah, you'll just have to listen to that. But anyways, I install. there are two ver- well, actually like uh, six versions of- two other versions of this ROM. There is the JI2 modem and the JI6 modem. The difference- the difference between these two ROMs, the JI2 and the JI6 ROM, the JI6 has a better data connection, whereas the JI2 modem has a better battery life. I am using the JI2 modem. Um, it helps save a little bit more battery life compared to the JI6. I got about one hour's worth of extra battery life. So I'm just going to stay with the JI2 build. And then there's the overclock version, the stock version, and then there's the overclock and lag fix version um, using Voodoo's lag fix. So right here you see a new lock screen actually. This is from the Samsung Epic 4G. Um, whenever there's a message, uh, you can just slide it up and slide the lock screen up and it'll take you to the messaging tab widget whatever application and uh, I'm just gonna right now I have launcher pro installed so I'm just gonna go back to the original setting uh, let's see just gonna clear that default and go back to TW Launcher. This ROM comes stock with TW Launcher and down here is this uh, row of icons right there. You can edit it, um, customizable grid, and then click on edit. Then you can just drag anything down in there and just drop it off. Okay. Anyways, um, any of these programs that you see here um, that seem like they're paid, they are paid. So these ROMs, these applications don't come uh, with these stock applications. All these applications you see here are downloaded by me, so they don't come with stock. So let's go to settings. Now with the JI6 build, uh, if you go to wireless and network, and then you go to mobile networks, you will not be able to see the use only 2G networks right here. That I don't know why it's missing from that build, um, because it really saves a lot of battery life. I don't use 3G all the time. I only have it on whenever I need it to. But with the JI6 build, like I said, you get a better data connection but with the JI2 you save battery life and I think battery life is better than the data connection so he didn't change too much about this ROM so I'm not gonna go into it into too much detail um, so he installed the market Android 2.2 uh, marketplace. I'm not sure what the difference between 2.1 and 2.2 is, but uh, he said he installed the 2.2 version of the marketplace, but this is still a 2.1 ROM. Now, there's a little application called Set CPU. Um, with this program, you can overclock your your phone. It you, there's three versions of this ROM. You uh, you can install the stock one, the overclock one, or the overclock with uh, 
Voodoo lag fix, but I'm just running just with the overclock version. Um, I don't really like the lag fix because I don't see a difference in speed. I just see it actually crashing more. But anyways, um, to use this application, he recommends only using uh, 1200 max and 1200 minimum. Um, and scaling set on conservative and no boot. Well, actually the developer of this ROM, I mean of this application as well as uh, some Bionics recommend that. So I have profile set here, just uh, save more battery life. Like whenever my battery life goes below a certain percentage, the phone will automatically slow itself down, therefore increasing battery life and saving. So I'm not going to go into too much detail like I said, but overall this ROM is a lot more stable than the other 1.X ROMs of Bionics and uh, I would definitely recommend it if you like the stock look to it. Um, definitely runs a lot more smoother, especially with the Launcher Pro. Um, I noticed that after a while in his previous builds that the Launcher Pro starts to act up. Um, but the Launcher Pro now, it doesn't really act up much anymore. Also, if you press the Home tab, you see there is that normal shortcuts thing that pops up. But also right here, you see a little thing called Task Manager. Just click it. And then, basically, if your phone is lagging really badly, just click that thing. And then, Task Manager. And then find whatever is lagging up your phone. And then just click End All and then your phone will just magically restart itself because I had Launcher Pro stall on me once so all I did was hold the home key button down, go to Task Manager, ended Launcher Pro and then Launcher Pro just restarted itself, worked perfectly fine love that feature in this ROM very helpful for those times whenever your phone just seems to lag and the screen is just black but your touch is still verified by the capacitive buttons so pretty big lifesaver Oops. alright so that's pretty much it from this bill alright please subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest updates about the Samsung Vibrant